Welcome to Top Car Channel. Luxury car brands have been busy creating niche vehicle segments over the past decade or so, and the Mercedes-Benz X-Class essentially creates another, the global luxury ute. Global is a key word, as America had the Lincoln Blackwood and Cadillac Escalade EXT at the start of the century, with mixed success. Mercedes-Benz Argentina even turned a 115 Series 220D sedan into a ute in the 1970s, though you only need to see the sales trend for dual cabs, as they broadened their appeal from workhorse to lifestyle vehicle, to understand why parent company Daimler has decided it shouldn't be missing out on this segment. After two years of announcements, concepts, reveals and passenger rides, we finally find ourselves on the opposite side of South America's Andes mountain range, in Chile, to drive the X-Class. It's less weird seeing a Ute wearing the three-pointed star rather than the four rings of Audi or blue and white roundel of BMW, simply because of Mercedes' vast fleet of commercial vans and trucks. It shouldn't be news that this isn't a ground-up Benz creation, with Mercedes choosing to instead borrow the underpinnings from Alliance partner Nissan. Renault's Alaskan Ute is another relative. Mercedes says it has made extensive modifications, including strengthening the ladder frame chassis, tweaking the damping, and changing suspension kinematics, relocating the attachment points for Nissan's 5-point multi-link rear, for instance. The German engineers were delighted to be working with the NP300 Navara's coil springs rather than the leaf springs common to this breed of vehicle, though it swapped the Nissan's rear drum brakes for ventilated versions.